John Henry Bonham, the legendary drummer for Led Zeppelin, had a lot of legends said about him. So I'm gonna ask some true or false questions and you're gonna let me know in the comments which ones you knew and which ones you didn't. Let me know how many you got right. True or false, John Bonham's drumsticks were so big that they were called trees. That is true. John Bonham was endorsed by Promoco drumsticks at the time, and their version of a large drumstick or a 5B was called trees. To say that they were so big that they were called trees, and that's why John Bonham used it, is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it adds to the larger than life personality of John Bonham. True or false, John Bonham used two bass drums. That is true for a little bit there. When John Bonham first became endorsed by Ludwig, he wanted the same exact drum set as Carmen Apice from Vanilla Fudge, and that came equipped with two bass drums, but apparently the other band members thought he overused it, so they hid it from him, they removed it from his setup, and the rest is history. True or false, John Bonham wrote the lyrics to the Immigrant Song. That is false. I don't even think John Bonham contributed one single line of lyric or even one word to any of the songs in Led Zeppelin's catalog. If you know any, leave a comment. True or false, John Bonham played an entire gig using only his hands. That is true. In Mick Bonham, John Bonham's brother's biography about him, he talks about how one time John Bonham got grounded when he was still a teenager. His dad took his drums away, locked him in the storage cabinet or in the shed or something, and in the middle of the night, him and his brother, they stole the drums back, but they weren't able to get all the drums before his dad caught them escaping and when they got to the gig John Bonham realized he didn't have his cymbals or any sticks so he played the whole gig just on his drums with only his hands. True or false, John Bonham was Black Sabbath's guitar player Tony Iommi's best man at his wedding. That is true. John Bonham was friends with most of the members in Black Sabbath since they were teenagers, so it makes perfect sense. And you can see in this photo, John Bonham off to the right with Tony Iommi, freshly wed, and with other Black Sabbath band members in the photo. True or false, John Bonham ripped a man's nards out. That is false. That is just a joke that Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers once told, almost like a, a Chuck Norris style of joke. True or false, John Bonham recorded a drum track for Paul McCartney. That is true, there is a Wings track called Beware My Love, and there is a version that was released in 2014 that was stowed away, and now you can listen to it. It's called Beware My Love, Paul McCartney with John Bonham on drums. It sounds pretty cool. True or false, since we're on the subject of the Beatles, John Bonham once threw George Harrison into a swimming pool. That is true. There's a couple different accounts of the story, but basically George Harrison became intrigued with Led Zeppelin once they came on the scene. It was John Bonham's 25th birthday, and George Harrison smashed the top layer of John Bonham's birthday cake into his face when they were asked to take a picture together and then John Bonham grabbed him and threw him into the pool and other guest members who were there as well. True or false, John Bonham once shaved Ringo Starr's head and eyebrows. Yes, that is true apparently. There used to be a video of Jason Bonham firsthand talking about his this experience but apparently he was on vacation with his parents and John Bonham went on a day and a half bender with Ringo Starr and famous actors at the time Oliver Reed and Peter Sellers and by the end of the bender he shaved Ringo Starr's head and eyebrows. True or false John Bonham was a guitar player as well as a drummer. That is false. Now there is a picture of John Bonham playing a guitar, so you could say John Bonham played guitar, 
but if you look closely, his left hand isn't playing any actual chords, so I doubt that he actually knew how to play guitar, and he definitely didn't contribute any guitar to any of Led Zeppelin's songs. And there you have it, some larger-than-life facts about a man with a larger-than-life sound and a larger-than-life personality. If you have any other tall tales or myths about John Bonham that you would like to leave in the comments, I know there are many out there, then please would love to read those. And be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. RIP John Bonham. We miss you. We love you. Oh yes, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.